I bought a new table saw, and here it is. Look at it! It's so cute! This is a four inch table saw from the Frightened Harbor, and it's called the Mighty Mike! <laughs> it was like $36, and I bought it because I wanted to. For scale, here's a small chicken. Yes, who's a good bird? I wanted to see if this thing would be a useful toy or a useless toy. It came with this tiny adorable blade guard. It also came with this bizarre plate that screws on the front of it and that just gets in the way of everything so I've left it off. The blade it comes with, it actually comes with two blades, is this 40 tooth Definitely not carbide tipped blade, it's just steel, and since I ground one of the teeth off with a file, it doesn't appear to be particularly hard steel. And this one, a diamond blade for cutting tile. I don't have any tile to test on it, but I don't imagine it would fare well with that. It did not come with a fence whatsoever, but it did come with, you ready for this? A miter gauge. <laughs> it's not a very good miter gauge because if you need to see how bad that is, here's a piece of wood. Uh, I would argue that's completely useless. According to the little sticker here, Mighty Might! It spins at 14,000 RPM and it draws most of an amp. Not a whole amp, but most of it. The blade does not tilt. It does have a height adjustment for the blade. By loosening this knob on the side, you can raise and lower the whole table or take it off. And there you go, there's the whole saw. Now what's adorable is this warning sticker here, to prevent serious injury, including hand amputation. Specifically hand amputation. That's adorable because I don't think that could work. Maybe a finger, but I don't know about a hand. The base is made out of cast iron, surprisingly. It's rather hefty. There's a little universal brushed motor here, and the table is made out of, I don't know, aluminum? Maybe. It's surprisingly straight-ish. And th that's all there is to it. <laughs> it's just a tiny table saw. Now the blade it comes installed with, as I mentioned, is not carbide tipped, and it is... Oh God, completely useless. Can't really call that a cut, it just sort of burned through it, didn't it? Thankfully, Harbor Freight does sell a replacement blade for this saw that is carbide tipped. It's only 24 teeth as opposed to the 40 on here, but they have actual carbide tips on them. The nut holding the saw blade in place is left-handed thread, and interestingly, this nut is aluminum. Now compared to the blade it came with, which cuts through wood like a hot knife through steel, this blade is a significant upgrade. However, it's still absolutely terrible. One benefit is it's really quiet. It did cut through it. The motor's a bit weak, by a bit, I mean substantially, but it cuts through it. It cut through this very poorly, so let's try something harder. This 3 8 inch thick piece of mahogany. I have low hopes for this, Well, let's try it anyway for funsies. Doing it. Doing it. Mmm. Smell that burning wood. What's the cut quality like? Wow, not terrible. Not good, but not terrible. I did try to use it for something real. I used it to cut all these maple squares, and I was going to make them into a box, but 
Well, it's so difficult to make any size changes or adjustments and there's no depth control. Well, there's depth control, but it's terrible that I gave up on making this box and all I ended up was six maple squares. So uh, I couldn't use it for a simple project. <laughs> I really badly wanted to go and use my actual table saw, but that would have been cheating now, wouldn't it? Can I use it for dados? Let's try it. Oh God, Let's tighten that down a little bit. Oh God. That's not an alternating tooth bevel. That's just random, it seems like. That has no set pattern to it. Also, it just burned all the way through and barely made that cut. So I'm gonna say no, it's not good for datoing. So consensus, uh, it's a toy. But you knew that from the beginning. I think this was entirely marketed towards people like me, small-minded idiots, who look at a tiny table saw on the shelf called the Mighty Might and then pick it up on a whim because, oh, but it has no real use. And it's just too weak to do anything other than burn wood. And the saw blade that comes with it, as I said, is completely useless. I'm not going to try the diamond blade for cutting through tile. Hang on, there's been a development. I've gone out and I've purchased a tile. I've installed the diamond blade in the saw because the curiosity was killing me. I have to know if this thing can even begin to cut through a tile. Hope this test is worth it because this thing set me back a whole 15 cents and I don't like to be wasting that kind of money. Let's do it. Place your bets. Wow, this blade's out of balance. Vibrating the whole saw. It did it. It was able to cut through this tile, but to make this one cut, it took five minutes and 30 seconds. So it will do the job, but there are faster ways to cut through a tile like this, like breathing on it or hoping it'll spontaneously cut itself. That said, it does work. Just, it's a novelty, pure and simple. I may use it in the future just for novelty's sake, but for actual use, no. Anyway, I just bought this for funsies. <laughs> See you later, thanks for watching.